Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of the Godfather the Dawn's Edition. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please do drop a like because it does help the uh, channel out a lot and does help the series out a lot, especially with its algorithm. So let's take over this Barzini Hotel. So the Barzinis are the uh, toughest family in the game besides the Corleones, the ones that you work for. Hey Mac, you this think you can take care of something for me? Beat it. I got these tenants, well ex-tenants, and they refuse to leave. I need some help. No problem. Evictions are my specialty. These bums refuse to leave, and the cops won't kick them out. They're upstairs, second floor. I don't care what you gotta do to get them out. So sometimes um, uh, you can do favors for the merchants, and so this is one of them. Wow, they even broke down the door, and there's this... Can you help me out? You gonna lend us a hand or what? I've never had nice clothes or a warm place to sleep. Feeling generous? Okay, but spend this wisely. Thank you, mister. I never forget a favor. Okay, so looks like they're gonna be leaving now, are they? Okay, let's see if we can talk to the owner now. These bums refuse... They're still not leaving? Oh man, my back is aching. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, I literally... Get out of my apartment! Oh! I told the landlord I'll pay next month! Kick this guy out of here! Oh. 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 Let me go! I'll leave! Okay, well, we literally- I literally gave the guy money hoping that he would leave, and he didn't leave. Um... Man, these guys broke down the door and there's constantly smoking in here. Okay. Those bums been hassling me for months. Thanks. I'll give you a small kickback each week if you promise to keep an eye on my hotel. Yeah, the Mafia's not gonna do that for you. You're gonna pay protection money, and they're gonna- <laughs> And they're still going to, um, uh, they're still going to, um, uh, hey, uh, they're not really going to protect you, what I'm trying to say. Just losing my track of thought there. Let's see, if there's, is there anything else in this place? Like, maybe a, um, uh, there might be a, um, a racket in one of these rooms. Let's just check really quick. Let's just see. No, looks like there's no rackets. Okay. Well, we've taken over a Barzini um, a hotel. That's definitely gonna um, make us a lot of money here. Whoa. You get out of here. Bar controlled by the ah. Catalia family here. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna use for this? Get behind. Oh. Oh. Man, this 1911 does definitely do, the, do its job. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Oh, get me out of here. Oh, this is this is not any small bar. This place is big. You can't keep me out if you're dead. Understand? Okay, just don't cause any trouble, right? Club unlocked? Okay. There's the owner. This doesn't look- Don't shoot! Read my lips. Your club ain't worth spit if you're dead. Got it? You can't make me pay. Okay, that's not the weak spot. I don't- Hold it! We can talk about this! Okay, let's see property damage. Maybe it's, maybe that's the weak spot. My it isn't either. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, what the? You holding out on me? How about your friend here? I never met a brand new. Okay, now get your grubby hands off of me. I could put you out of business in a hurry. Understand? I'll pay you, son of a bitch. Okay, this place is now ours. Oh yeah, there's a racket Come up on, here. Tough guy. Call that a Get away from me. Let it down. I'm going to make you a one-time offer for your two-bit operation. Kabish? Fair enough. Let me know if you need some comfort. So there we go. Like I said, just buy out the rackets, scare the owners, but buy Get out the rackets. They found out where Salato's hiding Tom. Meet Clemenza at his house in Brooklyn, pronto. Okay, so we gotta go and save um, uh, Tom now. Tom is being held by Salazzo. In the movie, um, uh, Salazzo releases Tom. But um, uh, in the game, it's that you have to go and save Tom. To get your license. Hey, okay, so now we're in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is actually where I was born, by the way. So this is Clemenza's house here. Okay. Tom is still missing. Clemenza has discovered where Salazzo is hiding Tom, but his motives are unclear. With Don Vito's recovery uncertain, a long sh uh, shadow is cast over the fate of the Corleones. Tom Hagen, Don Vito's loyal consigliere, a skilled negotiator. Tom's problem is that he's, he is a skilled negotiator, yeah. but when Hello. it comes to uh, Santino Corleone. war... Yeah. We have Tom Hagen. In about three hours, he'll be released without proposition. Don't lose that famous temper of yours, huh, Sonny? No. I'll wait. <laughs> Rocco, head on over to the waterfront. So I think I know this old diner. Pull over here. Go around back. And make sure none of these bastards get out that way. Now don't come in the building. We'll be putting holes in anything that ain't Tom. So this is very different than the movie. In the movie, he's released. But in the game, um, uh, in the game, they just, um, uh, Follow me and be they save quiet. Him. Keep it down. Call for backup. Okay, wow, that was a really quick way to get spotted. <laughs> uh. Follow me and be quiet. Stay down and keep out of sight. If the gods see us, they might hurt Tom. Strangle that guy, and don't let the other gods see you. Strangle, okay, I forgot that you could do this in this game. A lot of video games, it's very unrealistic when it comes to the strangulation. Go around the back. And watch for anyone trying to come out that way. We need to take out the guards. Do it quietly. Okay. The most unrealistic game that I've seen uh, do it is Hitman. Because in Hitman, it's like one second and that's it. They're done. Um, uh, but, um... Uh, Strangulation is a very brutal way to kill somebody in, um, uh, and it's just, uh, it, it takes minutes to strangle somebody. It's not like a few seconds like in video games. That's what a lot of entertainment, like movies and video games get wrong about that. It takes minutes to do that to somebody. Very disturbing way to kill someone.
I don't like violence, Tom. Huh? I'm a businessman. Blood is a big expense. He's still alive. They hit him with five shots and he's still alive. Well, that's bad luck for me. And bad luck for you. Goodbye, Tom. Sorry it didn't work out. So now they're going to try to um, get rid of him. Okay, rescue Tom Hagen and kill Salazzo's guards. I think we can go loud now, can't we? Hurry! There's not much time left! Tom, we're coming! Ready to die? I hate when they blind fire like that because they oftentimes hit you with perfect accuracy and it's really hard to hit them. Oh, you can't open this? That you can't open too? Christ, I got a bomb leg. And even I can keep up. Good job, kid. Luke is dead, Tom. Jesus. It's worse than I thought. How's the doc? It's bad. Let's get out of here. Take me to the compound. I'll show you the way. So Tom Hagen is the Corleone's consigliere. Um, I keep pronouncing that wrong, but that basically means like um, uh, the advisor to the Don. And, um, uh... Hey, you wanna ride with me back to the compound? Take the Manhattan Bridge, it'll be faster. No problem, Mr. So, um, uh... Now, if you notice something about Tom Hagen, and also an advisor to the Don is a very powerful rank in the family. Tom Hagen is great at negotiating. Job. Family owes you. Got a bright future with us, son. Bright future? Tom, the kids are fucking natural, just like this old man. We should see how... We could bring you into the family, see how you get on. You'll start out as an associate, nothing more. That means you'll be working for me, kid. But if you want to be an associate, you'll have to earn it first. You mean bring in some money for the family? Bingo. So, Tom, what'd you learn about Salazzo? Now... Salazzo is known as a Turk. He's supposed to be very good with a knife, but only in matters of business or some sort of reasonable complaint. Now, his business is narcotics. He has fields in Turkey where they grow the poppy, and in Sicily he has the plants to process them to hell. Now, he needs cash, and he needs protection from the police, for which he gives a piece of the action. I couldn't find out how much. The Tatalia family is behind him here in New York have to be in it for something. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the Corleones. So, um, uh, Tom Hagen is great at negotiating, but he's terrible when it comes to war. And, um, uh, he doesn't understand that sometimes, um, uh, sometimes negotiation can only go so far. And, um, uh, Sonny, uh, is the opposite of him, where Sonny, he's too aggressive. But um, if you're wondering, Tom Hagen, he is not Italian at all, um, but yet he's a made man. Uh, his name, Tom Hagen, that's not an Italian um, uh, name. Uh, but the reason that he's a made man, even though he's not um, uh, Italian, is because he was adopted by um, uh, Don Corleone. He was just a child. He was Sonny's best friend. Um, I believe that he was homeless. He had a really rough childhood. Um, he's the family's lawyer as well. Um, so that's a bit different, even though he's not... Um, we almost said the compound, kid. Even though he's not, um, uh, he's not Italian, there was an exception made for him being a made man because he's the Don's son. The be greeted as a friend. Thanks, son. Pull over and let me out of here.
Talk to Tom Hagen. Okay. I'm gonna miss Luca Brazzi. I wanted to be just like him. I remember one time he killed one of our own guys just for giving the Corleones a bad name. You're not gonna give the Corleones a bad name, are you? Incredible. Tom's free and not a scratch on him. I wonder what Salazzo's thinking. He's already shown his hand. I don't know. Nobody kidnaps a consigliere and gets away with it. No, oh, we gotta go um, downstairs. But this is the Corleone compound, so this is the family's base operations. Each family has their own um, base. Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because as we speak, our enemies encircle us, waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role as an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we maintain control in the streets, help us to regain our true balance. In time, you will become a trusted associate to our family, and then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. So the the associate, um, uh, we've been promoted to enforcer, technically associate, um, uh, but uh, it, it's 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 weird because an enforcer would usually be a made man, um, but um, the um, uh, an associate is the lowest level in the mafia. It's like basically they're, they're street fucks. That's what an associate is. Hey, Clemenza's looking for you over at the Falconite. Oh, what's up? Hey, the new enforcer. Congratulations. We all just heard the news. Thanks. It feels good to be part of the family. Glad to hear it, because there's someone important that you should meet. Salvatore Tessio, one of the family's most loyal capos. He's looking for someone to take on a contract hit against the Tatalias. Maybe you're the right man for the job. This is Tessio. Mr. Tessio, it's an honor to meet you. How you doing, kid? Got a job for you. You're interested? Anything for the family. We got a problem with a Italian wise guy, Mikey Saleri. He hangs around that butcher shop you earned for us. Take him out. So these are Tessio's hits, and you want to do these before you finish the game or get later in the story, because they, they disappear if you don't um, do them early in the story. So, uh, look for Mikey Sal Salari in an alley behind Emilo's butcher shop in Little Italy. Salari's been trying to intimidate a Corleone shopkeeper, and he has threatened to kill Emilo the butcher if he doesn't pay the Tatalias. Take out uh, Salari quickly and quietly. Use your fist if possible. Use hand-to-hand -hand combat, you get a bonus. Okay, let's whack this guy. Sonny's here. My respect, Sonny. I, I, I mean, Santino. It's a privilege to meet you. Do you have any advice for an up-and-coming enforcer? You know, trucks are a good place to start. I started by robbing trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He tells me, uh, every man has one destiny. Well, today, today my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me, you know what I mean? And all oh, these guys, okay, here we go. I got some dangerous work coming up, but the pay's good. You want in? You got a deal, boss. I'm yours. So here we go. We can hire crew. The Corleones, we're family. When you join us, you'll be part of the family too. But you gotta start where all of us started when we first joined, at the bottom. As an enforcer, you might be asked to join the crew of a seasoned captain or do a job alongside a respected soldier. Do good, and you might get promoted. And promotion has its privileges. Not only will you keep more of what you earn, but you can start hiring your own crew. The higher your rank, the better the crew member you can hire. Our guys can be found all over New York. Check your map, or just head home to the compound. Once you have a crew, you're ready for business. Try taking over some enemy businesses, rob a bank, or just go for a little Sunday drive. A crew member is great in battles, but sometimes you'll want him to take a hike if you've got private business. Just tell him to go home, and he'll split. Otherwise, your crew will stick with you through thick and thin, even if it means an unpleasant farewell. 
So the crew can help you out a lot. Like for when you attack businesses, I guess you don't really need them, but they will help you out a lot when you're attacking like warehouses and other um, uh, compounds and such. Then they're very helpful for that. Okay, so we can order him to shoot on different sides. That's nice. That's helpful. So here, we got a Tatalia warehouse. We're gonna take this place over. Let's look at our upgrades here. Um, skill points, one. Health. Okay. I'm gonna upgrade that. Don't got a lot of magnum ammo, but that's fine. Okay, let's make our way to that warehouse and take it. Okay, the hard part is gonna be actually like clearing out the warehouse because there's usually so many of them. Deck, look out behind you! Uh, we're gonna use the uh, snub nose, we'll use that. Pretty good cover over there. Boss, I need some backup. Ah, oh, a little bit ah, of lag there. Okay. Our guy's still at full health too. Um, that's good at least. Okay, yeah, the, the uh, backup actually does help. Got it. Keep me covered. They'll draw fire away from you, and they'll also shoot some guys, which is def definitely useful. A lot of other allies in games don't really help out as much. In here, we have to watch out for the shotgun spammers. They're really annoying, because the, sh the shotgun guys will kill Open you really fire. quickly in a place like this. We're about to start a mob war with the Tatalias as well. See what's in that safe. Hopefully, something good. Okay, nice, nice payout there. I'm taking a breather, boss. Come back when you need me. I can't get a good shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. He's going down. Now's my chance. Take cover, boss! Let's take him down! Man, a lot of these guys in the warehouse. Warehouses are not easy to take. I might be making a mistake taking a warehouse this early in the game, too.
Oh, see? This is what I'm talking I about. Shotgun spammers like that guy. found a bunch of magnum ammo, that's definitely gonna help. He's going down. Now it's tough. Oh, and it, oh, picking up the health pickups also heals your guy? Okay, that's good. Okay. If you want to keep running your business, you gotta run it for the Corleones. Think you can just bully me? Hit the bricks! Nope, not good. After I killed so many guys, you're not gonna say no. Okay, hooray! Tell me what you want! Don't make me kill you! Fine. You'll get your precious money, asshole. There we go. We've taken over the place. We've got a warehouse now. Warehouses can be used to smuggle, um, goods. Uh, skills and upgrades. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Uh... I'll upgrade firearms more, because that, that does help a lot. Firearms and health are probably the most important, at least in my opinion, early on. I should probably try to bribe a cop to all oh, film reel. Uh oh. We could use a good man like you on the payroll. Sure thing. You're starting to develop a reputation around here. There we go, that's gonna get rid of our heat. Don't gotta deal with that for some time. Okay, let's go whack this guy. Look out behind you! Whoa, whoa! Okay, it's a Tatalia. It's a Tatalia drive-by. Um. Okay, we should probably go and pay off the FBI to uh to deal with them because that's uh. Yeah. My God! Where do you think you're going? Let's see if you're bulletproof. At least we got a lot of our guys helping us here. Okay. We gotta go um, see that corrupt FBI agent now. I didn't even realize I started a mob war. When you start a mob war, they'll, they'll come keep coming after you and drive by and blow up your businesses until you pay off an FBI agent or you are. Um, or you bomb one of their businesses, damn. Okay. Oh, the FBI agent is in there, okay. You Corleone's better scram, got it? Think you can run from us, punk? The precinct ain't too worried about you. I think we can do this for a fair price. I'll pay, but I expect to receive the favor that I'm paying for. I have a feeling this will work out fine for the both of us. A police chief will side things, making easier for you in this neighborhood. Okay. Throw him over there, boss. Ah. That hurt. What's your problem? Okay, this the guy. Council here about stuff. You'll get your money. Ah. Pay the Corleones their due, or it'll be your brains that are on the house. You'll get my payments every week. Okay, so we've um uh, we've taken over this bar. Back here, there's some kind of racket, probably. Pick up it. Yep.
Whoa, whoa. See what's down here. Looks like it's some kind of casino. I'm bleeding here. Stop. Get out of here, buddy. This game's for serious players only. I'm not here for games, pal. I'm here to buy out your share of the take. Kabish. Sure thing, Mac. This table's big enough for the both of us. Okay, the corrupt FBI agent is gonna be here. I mistook the police chief for him last time. Um Okay, here he is. Yeah, I really needed the Talia's off me because this is getting annoying. I okay, since you ain't been causing too much trouble, I can help you out for a reasonable price. There are four other families you could be watching. Got it? No problem. They cut it coming anyway, right? Okay, crooked FBI agent. Okay, that'll end that war. Okay, so there was this guy that's in the back of the Tatalia sh um, that's in the back of Emilio's butcher shop, Tatalian gangster that's trying to extort the place. Oh, there he is, Emilio, okay. This is my turf! Hey, get out of here! Lots of blood and knives here. Get the picture. Beat it, punk. I'm taking over this joint. No, you're not. There we go. And we got the bonus condition completed too. Easy way to make money with these hit contracts. That was Tessio's first hit. You'll get your money every week. I promise. So um thank you guys for watching. I guess we'll leave it off here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this series and I'll see you guys on the next